come back we're going to do our first round of the back border the, and it's done in the white or the light background color in my case uh, of white and we do a corner and 23 single crochets and that's not a single crochet in the back loop but in the front loop only and we do that four times and we do a corner and that starts with a C0 and it means it's only a chain so okay well this will be my last stitch and this will be my first in between there needs to be a chain so I'm going to connect my yarn here first make a little not there it's going to be connected in the last stitch so i know when i'm there that that is my start one now this is a little bit in the way that i will come there whoa, 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 whoa. just push it a little bit and i will secure my yarn you will see it and i will push through yeah and I will chain one immediately to secure my yarn. And because I'm going to connect, oh, I'm out of my, I am out of center. I'm sorry. I connect it. So I do a chain one and I do another chain and I got the chain for the corner now. See, this is my chain for the corner. And if you want, you mark it. See, you got the chain for your corner and you mark it trying to get all the yarn you have and then I'm going to take out this one because it's so in the way pull it a little bit and I put my hook immediately through it this one it's my first and the first rows are always a little bit harder than the next one really it's only the first round and this will be my first single crochet there see single crochet this is my corner and this will be my last stitch which and then I connect front to back so we're going to do 23 that will be quite a challenge because we have to find our stitches there's the next one look I got one there's the next one two three oh Oh, it would be nice if I make not yarn over but just a single crochet instead of a double crochet you can do it of course with double crochets the back but single crochets are more precise to count and then you keep the same amount of stitches back and front but be my guest I did one for the summer cottage I did double crochet on the back because I wanted to finish it quickly um, I lost counting but I will count when I'm at the end I need 20 through single 23 single crochets and there we go it's a little bit finding that stitch that when you found it you found it logic on me <laughs> and sometimes it's a little bit harder to put that's why I fold see I fold this work so it comes up easily and it comes up more clear I hope you all can see it what I'm doing it's just single crochets in that loop that's a little bit hidden there see but this doesn't show at the front and I will show it to you in this stitch see it's a little bit hidden and if you go to the front you won't see it see these are nicely done all in the same single crochet of that last one And we're going to find the next one, which is there. Well, if I can see it, my glasses are not dirty. No, they're not dirty. I'm just getting a little bit blind. Good on another decific when you get over 60. Rah. There. And we go on. And we continue work. There's no hurry. Don't make this a hurry work. Just take your time. You know, lock the dogs away, the cats away. Get a glass of wine next to you or coffee or tea or lemonade. Make it a relaxed work because if you do this under stress, you will make a mistake and it won't look nice. Just take your time. It's a hobby. It's not, well, for some it's a competition. <laughs> but not for me. It's a hobby. 
and this is now my business of course to make nice patterns to you and oh i have some nice ones coming i'm so proud of my bats and roses oh and of my hallows and i love that one so it will be witchy the next two patterns already a little bit for halloween i'm very early but then um you have your patterns already this is my last so after i've done this one I take this one out, so I know this is my last stitch here, and I'm going to count them. I should have 23 single crochets, and I hope so, I have 23, otherwise I'm going to cry. 8, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 23, I'm so happy. And we marked our work already for the first stitch on the side so what we do we make a corner and the corner is only one single crochet we mark that single crochet immediately if i can get that escaping how you call that stitch marker put it in keep them marked if you lose it the stitches and now i'm going to take this one out because this is should be straightforward there okay i'm going to put some tension on this work because this is a little bit hard work it's really hard work you need to find the stitch um get it through there that one i will go through here and then back here see and i only stay in the back and make sure your yarn doesn't mix with those bloody fringes which is best to keep longer and not that short annika so keep them longer than I do, because otherwise they're in front of your work all the time, like this one now. Bloody thing. Uh. Oh, and I, of course, I kicked the camera. That's always handy. And see, this is my first single crochet. Now we need to pull this a little bit out, because it needs to be on the side. See, and this is one. And then we go in white. And remember... Odd is the blue one, even is the light one. This is how you keep your stitch count into order. Two. And then I'm going to do... Oh, those little things make me nervous. Three in the blue. And then four. Is that in the white? Yes, it's in the white. And then five here in the blue. It shows white, but that is the part where we used our border already for the front. See, we need to have this one, the blue. That's why we first make the front border and then the back border. White again. Six, I think. I will do a recount at the end. Seven is blue. See, get that blue. 8 is white. And look where my hook is going. You see it here, but not on the other side. See, you see it here. There. I lost counting now, but it's an even count. I think it was 8 or 6. I don't remember. Let me count. 8 it is. 9. Blue. Ten white. See, and I hold it so it doesn't come in front of my yarn. Eleven blue. Twelve white. Thirteen blue. Look, and I'm holding that blue one. Thirteen is blue. Blue is thirteen. Fourteen white 15 blue 16 white 17 blue 18 
white and 19 blue and 20 white now if you do a larger project what you do what i normally do is put a stitch mark in each 20 stitch then you can recheck if the old ones are correct and then the next one is blue again so i would put a stitch mark in here look this is my 20 stitch and if it's a big project like 300 rows or something then you really need to mark them do it each 20 or each 10 i don't care use a zillion of those little plasticies don't throw them in the nature because it takes ages to 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 go away from nature and i was 21 here 21 blue 22 white and this is the last one and it's a big one remember because we used two stitches there is the blue one here 23 there we can take that one out now and we make our corner chain one and immediately mark the corners that is important mark those blue corners because they're going to fix you up and our next stitch will be here it's a little bit far but don't worry we want a tight border we don't want a sloppy white border that's why i already went to a hook half a hook size down you can put a whole hook size down i'm going to do this as my first stitch this one there which i not this one that's the corner of this see that is the corner of this this is my first stitch this is the sides this is my border stitch part that needs to be on the outside this is my first stitch and this is what i'm going to take always check your work one two this is a little easier oh this is lekker three four Twenty-one, twenty-two, and I will take this one out of the last one after that in my twenty-second, twenty-two, and the last one. Take it out. Twenty-three. There, that was an easy one. <laughs> Sometimes you like it easy. Oh, let's connect this one. I don't want to lose my corner. And see, now you can check if there's 20, 20. I would mark each 20 if you are a bigger project. I will take this one out now because it's a smaller project and I need to, if I want to recount, 23 is not that difficult as 400. Well, I'm getting our higher and higher now. Okay, and we're going to make a corner and the corner is a C0. And a C0 is only one chain. And I will explain, it's only one chain because it keeps your border tighter and nicer. And this is my first blue here. Here's my first blue. So I will go in and I will go out and I show it behind. Yeah, this is my first stitch. Now this I can take away. Hoppate, take away, hoppate. And mark your corner here, which I just did. I just did a, sing, a, a chain, I hope. Did I do a chain? Yes, I did. Look, this is a chain. There. This is a part of your single crochet, the top, see? This is a chain. Got it. So, put all the little fluffies behind your 
work and it's handy if you didn't cut them off too too short like I did so they won't go into your work it's always handy if you keep them a little bit longer than what I just showing I show you the wrong way you can do the, the better way at home okay this is one blue two white three blue four white five blue six white seven blue eight white nine blue ten white thirteen blue oh that's far fourteen white Fifteen blue, sixteen white, seventeen blue, thirteen white, fourteen blue, and I mixed up my counting because. Blue should be an old one, so I'm going to see where I am. Oh, here's a fluffy in the front, which I crocheted with me. Let me pull that one out. And another one, and another one bites the dust. Choo, choo, choo. Where is it? Where is it? I need to have this hook there to get all those fluffies there. Pop, done. Let me count where I am. Luckily, I marked the corner. See now, checking your work isn't that bad. One, two, three, four, five, six, So now it's eighteen white. See, that's better. Eighteen white. White. Nineteen blue. Twenty white, twenty one blue, twenty two white, and then the last one. And I take out that marker for my last stitch. First, here that is my last stitch. And the last one is blue here and then I'm going to connect it to the first stitch I made which is here this is my corner stitch pull it in pull it make a little longer and connect it under this we're not going to use this stitch there or maybe we are I don't know <laughs> let's see this is the last stitch we're going to use here because it's 23 because it's a star stitch it's a little bit different than next time in the row down can I get it through might be a little bit like this then yay and I got it and we've done our first round for the back border you see it's tight but it will stretch when you block it it's gorgeous it will be gorgeous it will be gorgeous it will be gorgeous yay okay I hope you follow me for the next round. And uh, now it's down the hill. It's just a normal corner in each um, uh, with each stitch marker. It's only single crochets, back loop only. And I will do all the rows, all the rounds. But if you want to do it yourself, try it yourself, be my guest. Okay, hope to see you in the next one.